All right, what's up everyone? And this is actually a trip I didn't even plan on doing but until I saw it when I um, was down here when I went to the Ghost Town Museum yesterday. So today I'll be going to the Manitou Cliff Dwellings, which is like, remember in the other, other video, I was like, man, I wish there was more native stuff. Well, this is it here. So uh, these cliff dwellings have been here, you know, for thousands of years, most likely probably by ancestral Puebloans, which, you know, that's, I mean, I'm, you know, I am like part Apache, but the main tribe is probably the Tewa or the, the Taos Pueblo. So, you know, these, you know, the people who made these um, cliff dwellings are most likely, I mean, I'm probably not, I mean, probably more like related distantly, but. Um, yeah, so like from the same like ancestral Puebloan tribe, I think in New Mexico, there's also a similar area like outside of Albuquerque where there's a lot of that preserved as well. So let's get into it. tower Going further here. For design for tall people. Oh, there's a Kiva there too. We got a lot of these in New Mexico too. Yeah, the one in New Mexico has multiple ones run in a circle. A lot of. Uh, Ceremonies are performed. Let's go down this way. This is cool. The inside here. I feel like I'm Indiana Jones now. Burials are usually made outside. Yeah. It's always interesting how the different tribes buried people. Like even like the like a lot of the planes ones did like the sky burials. Storage bin. That's cool.
one spot up higher I haven't been to yet, so we'll head up there. Descendants, that's where I'm descended from. Oh, yeah, that hoop game. There's another one that, um, well, they called it Teja. It was like, like a circle, like a, with a rock, and you throw it in that circle. I don't know if they played it back then, but I know the later Pueblo tribes did. And Hopi and Navajo. on this one. I have a piss. I actually know why I have one of those bigger rocks in my house. My grandpa's, I think. actually an area in uh, another part where my family is more southern New Mexico. In Miembre is kind of like by Silver City, Las Cruces around that area. That area is also really cool because that's where a lot of Apache were too. Like Victoria wasn't born not too far from there. I think Geronimo was born maybe 20, 20 or 30 miles from there roughly. I don't know. I, I don't know exactly but I should show you guys that area someday. Silver City and all that. Some flute tunes. Yeah, the skulls are flattened because those babies are there. Oh, Santa Clara, that's in New Mexico. Apache family. Yeah, a lot of them, the U. Yucca, yep. San Juan.
I always found uses. Look at these shoes here. Actually, another area we haven't been to. All right, let's check out all these. Let's take a while here. old TV it still works Chilies. Those still hangs in there. Looks like a bunch of Pueblo, you know. See the Taos Pueblo. Yeah, so I probably am a descendant of these people. All right, we're done with the Manitou Cliff Dwellings, and what did I think? Honestly, this was much better. Now, I'm not saying this because I'm native. I'm not saying because I'm biased, okay? But I feel like as an overall experience in general, I got more out of this than I did at the Ghost Town. Not, the, not that the Ghost Town was, like, horrible or anything, but I expected a little bit more out of it, honestly. Um, not that I didn't have fun there, but this, I got a lot more out of this one because I just got to see, like, you really get to get up close with it and um you know like walk in and out of the the different dwellings and stuff and then there's a whole there's like two more museums on the inside there's like a cave one and then there's um another museum like like uh, like in within like the the little pueblo like right here and um and i caved <laughs> i said i know because i didn't i didn't get anything when i went to the taos pueblo and i'm like i'm like all right go no matter how much you go in there you can look in the gift shop you can't buy anything I had to get a Kachina. I got. I'll, I'll show it later on. Um, once I, I don't want to unbox it and everything right now because I just want to keep it packaged and everything. I probably won't open it until I get back home. But I'll, I'll show you guys a picture of what I got. And I have another Kachina like that. And um, they're basically it's like it's ideally now not always, but it's it's carved from like one uh, one piece of wood. So it's like one piece of wood that, that's like carved down into like a little like figurine. And uh, it's pretty cool. So this, the one I got is Navajo made. I have another one at the house. I know I actually have two more, I think. I have two more. And so I was like, well, I'll just add that. It's a, it's a little kachina. It's not a very big kachina. But still, I caved. I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm not gonna... I was like, darn it. <laughs> it looked so cool. Like, I had to get it. But yeah, I had a really good time. And also, just like a, like a personal thing. Now, obviously, I don't know if, if like the, you know, like the ancestors came directly from this area. Because there were ancestral Pueblins that were in New Mexico, so maybe I'm more from that group. So even if I'm not like directly related to them, to these people, you know, to the the people that were here, they're probably really, 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 really extended cousins. So 
<laughs> it's still like really cool just to see you know basically you know you know little learn more a little bit about my culture and everything so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed going through this as well and i hope to see you next time thank you <laughs>